Hi, it's Mia. I help software developers dive deeper into Agile using Jira. In the last set of tutorials, my buddy Ryan helped you create a new project in Board. Now I'll help you use it. This tutorial is all about issues. Let's get started. Teams use issues for just about any work related to the software development project. Issues might include the following. Product development task, which includes work items for the next phase of software development, bugs, like product defects, or engineering items, supplementary work that must be done in order to release a new product. Issues, no matter what kind they are, are mapped to JIRA's issue types. The default issue types for our Scrum software development project include epics, stories, tasks, subtasks, and bugs. Teams can create custom issue types to match their particular needs. For example, you might find that creating a wireframe is a task that your team does frequently. You could ask your JIRA administrator to create a custom issue type called wireframe that would capture details of creating and working on wireframes. Let's take a look at JIRA's default issue types. An epic is the largest unit of work. It's used as a container to hold other units of work. An epic could be a website redesign and launch or releasing a new version of a product. An epic may contain stories. Stories describe functionality from a user's perspective. They're expressed using a few short sentences and written in non-technical language. An example story might be, as a non-US visitor to the Teams in Space website, I'd like the website to convert prices to my local currency so I can transact quickly without having to convert prices manually. Tasks are another unit of work. Tasks are specific outcomes to achieve. Stories and tasks can both contain smaller units of work called subtasks. Subtasks are also specific outcomes to achieve, but are more granular than tasks. Stories and epics apply to Agile software development projects. If you're not running an Agile project, then you may wish to keep it simple and just work with tasks and subtasks. Bugs are another issue altogether. They generally refer to a problem impairing or preventing the function of a product. Bugs may also have subtasks. Below are a few examples of typical issues. Correctly identify if the example is an epic, story, task, or bug. Now let's create an issue. To create a new issue, click Create. A new window pops up that contains several fields. The fields you see here have been specifically set for this training instance and may not look the same on your system. When creating an issue, your job is to decide what type of issue it is, give it a name, give it a description, and assign it a priority. Once you've done that, click Create to complete the action. The issue is given a unique key, associating it with the project and adding it to the backlog. If you need to create multiple issues, save effort by selecting Create Another, and JIRA opens another blank issue right on the screen. This can save time because some fields are automatically populated from the previous issue you created. New issues appear on the Scrum board in the Backlog column. Find all newly created issues here. Before we leave this section, let's take a look at a neat way you can customize the appearance of an issue. It's a nice technique for quickly recognizing attributes of an issue without having to look into the issue itself. First, a new term. In Jira, we refer to issues that are displayed on boards or the backlog as cards. Cards are a condensed version of an issue. They display a subset of the issue's data. By default, they display the issue key, issue summary, assignee, and epic link. 
You can customize cards to display up to three additional fields. What we're talking about is adding a color band to the card that's based on a characteristic of the issue. So what characteristics can you distinguish with color? The short list is issue type, priority, assignee. You can also base card color on a JQL query, which makes the list of possibilities pretty much limitless. To add colors to your cards, from your board, click the board button and then choose configure. Select the card colors link. The issue types currently in your project display. Here we'll change the card color of this issue type, a bug, to purple. All I have to do is click the color block and select a new color. When you return to the board, you can see the color next to its issues in the backlog. You'll see the same behavior when viewing the card on the board in the active sprint view. With colors, team members can instantly distinguish different types of cards. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own projects. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.